going on y'all welcome back to the channel hey man check it out i got the pocket drum 2 plus by aero band in the studio and i've had this thing for probably five or six months and i never put this video out so this video was recorded a long time ago um and yeah so i'm gonna release the video so right here right now on this channel it's about to go down you ready here we go all right, y'all, let's talk about the Aeroband Pocket Drum 2. Now, let me start by saying this is the ninth time that I've attempted to uh, do this video. I'll explain the total reason why in the end, but if this is your first time tuning into our channel, I wanna let you know that typically I always look for a way to find something positive about every product. I just tend to believe that every product has something going for it that somebody can use, um, and there's definite, uh, definitely a market out there for a product. So. Let's start with build quality. When it comes to build quality, it's plastic. It, it's built well, it's, it's built about exactly what you would expect from the product. The sticks are, they feel good in hand. The length is not too short, not too long. Everything's about it works. It works Bluetooth functions. You'll probably hear, I'm gonna turn it on. You hear it buzz on and then buzz off at some point. It all functions as designed. Um, the actual pickup, let me grab that. Uh, here works as designed. This is the actual module that you would connect to your phone or to your tablet or to your computer um, and to your headphones and that type of thing. Works fine, Bluetooth and all. Um, it is a Bluetooth product, so you need to know that. Positive, it works. When you turn it on, uh, this is the type of product when you've been driving down the street in your car and you've been playing air drums or you're at home and you're playing air drums and you never get sound, this gives you the ability to play air drums and get sound. So with that being said, I was super excited for this product when I saw, uh, I think back when the Kickstarter thing started with this product, I was very, very excited for this product. I, I rooted for this product. I want this product to work. Um, when I got the product, I turned it on, I calibrated it, got it set up, did everything they did, 45 degree angle, everything that they explained. Turn it on, started to play, hit, snare, I heard it, it sound well, the sounds are great, it's got multiple drum sounds, sounds great in the headphones, plugged it into the, uh, my, my speaker, my Simmons um, speaker, sounds great coming out the speaker. I hit the tom, sounds great, all three toms, the cymbal and the ride cymbal, it's a basic set, it works, it, I got that, it, it did exactly what they said it was going to do. Then I tried to play it. Calibrate first. Calibrate again because it's not quite right. So I, I started to play and immediately I started to have problems. Now let me back up just a minute. When I originally got this drum set, I was sent one that was open and I tried to play it and it didn't function properly. So I sent, I, I contacted Aeroband and I said, hey, this is an open unit, you might wanna send me another one. They sent me one like the next day. Within two days, 24 hours, I had a drum set again, had this again. So I ended up with two. I did a video saying I'm gonna give one away, I'm gonna keep one, I'm totally excited. 
I started to play the drum and within seconds I noticed that I was trying to hit certain things and other pieces of the drum set was playing, which meant that I had to recalibrate the drum. So I, you know, 45 degree angle, hit the buttons, wait, let go, hit the snare right in front of me, hit the tom, it's there, start trying to play. And it plays for a minute and then it needs to be recalibrated. As you can see when I was playing in the video where I'm playing the theme song to the show, I had just, the video, they're freshly charged, so it's not an exclusive charge. I did everything right, <clears throat> try to play along, nothing. It, it, it slides in and out of, of calibration, so I have to stop. And, and that's the thing, the word that best describes this product is recalibrate. You're going to get used, you're gonna learn how to calibrate this thing better than you learn how to play it. So that was definitely a, a, a major letdown and disappointment for the product because again, I'm very excited for the product itself. Um, another thing that was very, very disappointing, and I'm gonna come back to probably some more about playing in a second. Another thing that was very disappointing was the app itself. The app did not function the way they said it was gonna function. It's not intuitive at all. Uh, it, I was left in the recalibrate screen. It wouldn't even recognize that I had the drum. Um, so that was a, a major letdown. Um, and frustration. Again, I've had it about three weeks now, so I've been trying to get it to work for three weeks. Um, and, and it's just been frustration after frustration after frustration, which is why I'm on video number nine, trying to record it because I was being too overly aggressive in my approach to how I describe this product or my dislike for the product. So stepping back, calm down, trying to give you this information, but I was so upset because I wanted it to work. But then that brings me to the thing that's really even more upsetting, the mo probably the most upsetting of all. And that is their website. They're rocking out in these pictures. One guy is flipping his sticks and all kinds of stuff. You can't do that. The, the website makes it seem like it's just flawless. They, they market it to the intermediate, the beginner and the professional drummer. And no, this is not for a professional drummer in the slightest. Maybe for fun, but not for real. For an intermediate drummer, exact same thing. Maybe for fun, but not for real. For a beginning drummer, not at all. And I'm explaining to you why. You're gonna pick up bad habits from this drum because it's not gonna actually give you the full feel of what it's like to play drums. You can't play drums until you sit down on some type of drum, whether it be acoustic or electric. You need to actually sit in front of a drum. So marking it for the drummer, and that's just the beginning drummer, no, not at all. For the intermediate, have fun. The professional to have fun, yeah, I can see that. But what real drummer is gonna buy this? Except for fun. We would buy, I would buy it for fun. I even hoped it would work because I was like, if this works as designed, I will connect it to my computer because they claim you could connect it to GarageBand. I will connect it to GarageBand and I will record a video and record and release an entire song played with this drum. But it doesn't function as designed. It does not do what they say. So I cannot do that. I can't make that promise because it's not going to function the way they say. I'm going to be recalibrating and starting over again, recalibrating and starting over, and that's not fun. Now, if you bought this thing to take home and you're going to have a party and people are going to be uh, taking up some sort of uh, libation, something that you fixed up in the backyard, and you know, with grandpa out back, uh, not the ones you buy. You need something a little bit stronger. Uh, this is the perfect drum set, a drum gear for that, the perfect toy for that type of thing where you can have some fun. If you're gonna throw a party, by all means, this is your product. This is gonna be hilarious in a party. But don't spin your sticks and don't try to play with a band. Don't try to record a song. Uh, don't try to play like a long song. And whatever you do, don't play a fast song because it's, it is Bluetooth technology, so there is a latency issue. So it's not gonna keep up. You're gonna end up falling behind. 
Uh, so definitely don't do that and, and don't let a kid play on it uh, to try to teach them how to play drums and whatever you do don't actually pretend like it's a real product that's, that's functioning perfectly and y'all have worked out all of the kinks and the bugs and now y'all selling it don't you know don't don't do that those are just a list of things and I can easily go on about the things you probably shouldn't do with this product um, least, most of all is buy it you, you shouldn't buy it